What's going on everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music and welcome to what should probably be the very last recent record pickups video that I do for 2018. Now actually there's a few more things that I want to talk about but I will get to them at the end of this video. So I'm not going to waste any more time with an introduction and let's just get into some of the recent goodies that I picked up from Jet Set Records. So first up, this is probably the main reason that I did this recent round of records. When I saw this record get listed, I could not resist because this is probably one of the most, if not the most sought after seven inch that I've been looking for for a very long time. And that is Jack Wade searching for soul. I've wanted this seven inch ever since I heard this track all the way back in 2008 or so, or 2009, when I picked up the Strange Breaks and Mr. Thing record. I had it on the compilation, but I've always wanted it on seven inch since that way if I'm out at a gig I don't have to lug around a big box of LPs and I'm just a big fan of having everything on 7 inch and now that I have it super stoked and I'm extremely happy because I've also got doubles of it which I've always wanted to be able to run doubles of this as this may be one of my favorite drum breaks of all time if you've never heard Searching for Soul before it's one of the craziest like drunkest swampiest drum breaks you will ever hear outside of the meters and any dr drum break aficionado should have this song in their collection and then on the flip side of it this song showstopper I don't really know much about it but it has an absolute monster of a drum break on it and it, it's definitely more on the rocky side of the drum break spectrum but the the drum break is extended it, it's just it's a fun drum break to play around with so happy to have both of these guys in my collection especially the Searching for Soul track, and if you can, definitely grab this if you ever run across it, because it, it is definitely one of the finest drum breaks around. Then moving on, we got a track that I don't really know all that much about, but I've been eyeballing it for a while, and half the reason that I picked up as many records as I did is Jet Set Records, where I buy all my records in Japan, has this policy, if you order over a hundred bucks or Ichiman in, you get shipping free. So I had to fill out my order somehow, and and I was looking at 45s that were relatively inexpensive and I came across this guy from the Tramp record label. This is RDM Band and I don't know much about the Give Up track but the main one that I wanted from here is this song. I don't think it's gonna focus. How Can I Get In Touch With You which is this really nice sweet soul groover. It's got some really hard drums on it. It's got some really nice vocal harmonies on it and I'm always a fan of records like this and at about 10 bucks couldn't really argue with the price on that. So so I'm happy to add this to the collection. Then moving on from there, got quite a few house records this time around. And one that I, I really wanted to add to the collection is this guy right here. This is Alma Negra Conversations released on Heist Recordings. I've been a fan of Alma Negra since the EP that they released on Heist Recordings not that long ago. And I figured I should probably just pick up anything that they put up at this point. And sure enough, this record did not disappoint. It's definitely less on the Afro House side of things, although there is some of that infusion in this track, and some of the songs are definitely a lot more techno than some of the songs that I know them for, but overall, there's tons of, like, African Prussian on here, as well as some really, really cool sort of techno house vibes on this. Some really good, just, I don't know what else to say about it other than just some damn good house music, and as always, since it is both a Heist Recordings record and an Alma Negra record. Couldn't really go wrong with this. And then this is a record that I wasn't originally going to pick up. I actually mistook it as it being the Glenn Astro remix. And this is, what is this? What is this? This is Nelson of the East, Night Frames. It's a nice, really cool Deep House EP. I originally bought it because I had heard uh, Glenn Astro's remix of one of the tracks on here and I really, really liked it. I wanted to have it on vinyl. But unfortunately, the remix isn't on here, and I sort of blindly bought this record thinking that 
the remix was on this. But actually having had listened to it a little bit more, I discovered that actually there's some really solid deep house on it. Haven't listened to it all that much since I purchased it. Definitely gonna have to dive into it and definitely play it on some raw select radio shows. And just overall from what I've heard, it's a really solid sort of left field deep house record. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this guy. And then we've got Toy Tonics, a Toy Tonics record. This is a label that I've been following for a while and haven't picked anything up from them yet just because I sort of only go through little spurts of buying house records, but I figured now is as good a time as any to sort of pick up some of the records that I had sort of neglected up until this point. And this record was totally totally worth it. This is the Joy Kill EP by Manga Bay, and I originally picked it up because I really, really, really like this Glenn Astro, Glenn Astro remix that's on it. It's really cool. It's got some really interesting sort of bass music vibes to it, and I've always been wanting to get into some more different types of electronic music, but the main reason for picking this guy up is that Fook remix of the title track on here, and it is pure fook. It's disco-y. It's dance floor ready. It is a super funky track and that's pretty much all I have to say about it and if you run across this record definitely grab it. Definitely grab anything from Fook because they, they pretty much have they, they pretty much have at this point a, a perfect track record. I don't think I've ever picked up a record from them and not been completely satisfied with one of their releases. And then last we have a record that I've been sitting on the fence for a while about picking up, but decided to grab it in the end because uh, you can always use more of these guys in your collection. And that is Roller Coaster Ride, This Dark Reality, the now again reissue from back in 2015. I'm super happy to have this in my collection. I thought I was pretty much done after the uh, the Hoagie Carmichael uh, music shop. Can't think of the actual title of the record off the top of my head. But I, I've been wanting to explore a little bit more of uh, Star Realities music and this record has not disappointed. I will definitely go into this record, uh, do a review of it later on in the future. But as the little sticker on it suggests, psychedelic jazz. And yeah, if you're a fan of the Hoagie Carmichael's music shop, you can't go wrong with this record. Super jazzy, super funky, super crazy, super psychedelic. I think they should be more of a household name. And if you're a fan of sort of left of center, Frank Zappa, Primus, sort of weirdo music. You can never go wrong with Stark Reality, and this is just like another quality release from them. So definitely, definitely, definitely grab this if you have not picked it up. And that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I know I kind of rushed this video along a little bit, but I really wanted to get to talking about some updates of what's going on with this channel. So this is not only gonna be the last recent record pickups video of this year, this is also probably going to be the one of of the last videos shot in this room and at this camera angle and everything. I am actually currently just about to move. I'm moving to another part of Japan, but I will be getting basically my own little space. So hopefully I will be able to start cranking out not only more uh, reviews or recent record pickups, but also different types of videos as well. I've got some ideas for some other stuff that I want to do in the future and really just sort of broaden the content that goes up on this channel. So if the release of videos slows down a little bit, it's because I'm in the process of moving, but I actually have a ton of videos already shot and I am going to slowly slurp, 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 start trickling them out, probably not only this week, but next week as well. And speaking of things that are already recorded, I just, as of shooting this video, uploaded Raw Select Radio 18 and 19. Definitely, if you haven't, check those out. I really appreciate it because not only is a lot of my passion talking about the records that I talk about in my reviews or recent record pickups videos, but also getting a chance to play them for you and talk a little bit about them in a radio show style format is also a lot of fun for me. So I'd really appreciate if you check me out on Mixcloud. Link is always in the description. So head over there and check it out. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. Please head over to my 
by WordPress or Steemit blogs because those places are usually where I post the audio links so you can check out any of the music that I talked about here. Also, like I said, head over to Mixcloud because you can hear a lot of the records that I talk about here as well as some of the records that are in the collection that I haven't gotten a chance to talk about on this YouTube channel. So I'm also planning at some point work is on vacation. I will be getting to my top 10 favorite records of this year. I'm actually expanding it from last year where I only did my top five. This year I want to do 10 because there was just so much noteworthy music that came out this year that I want to make sure that all of them get the proper time and attention that they deserve on this channel. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.